Now, be it video wallpapers, be it customizing your home screen in ways you did not know of, changing a few cool things about the always on display, extracting text from images and calling shortcuts out of nowhere. There is just so much about the Galaxy S10 that I'm going to share with you in this video. So let's get right into it and hope you guys really enjoy it. The first thing I want to talk about are video wallpapers. The Galaxy S10 display is amazing and just count the number of times you open your lock screen to check notifications. So go into settings, go into wallpapers and themes and search for videos. You'll get a list of video wallpapers. A lot of them are free, some of them are paid. So see what you like and just download and install them and you can get some really cool ones that are free. This next one is probably my favorite one. Let's say I'm looking at an image inside gallery and I quickly want to record a video. I could do that in just one tap directly into re video recording mode. And now let's say I want to make a phone call and I can do that again in just one tap. And now I want to send a message. So all of this is happening because of the edge panel. If you look at my edge panel, it's got these uh, six shortcuts that are really helpful for me personally, whether it's to add an alarm, start a audio recording, or just take a picture using my camera. Of course, all of this is a part of edge panels. So if you go into edge screen settings under display and go into edge panels, make sure it's on. And then there are a couple of uh, these panels that are already pre-installed on your phone. But the one you're looking for is called tasks edge, which of course you can customize. Now there are a bunch of shortcuts or uh, activities that you probably do. So depending on what you really need, you could just tap on it and it's going to show up. You, could, you can have 10 options available and you can reorder them based on priority. And another really handy tool is the calculator edge panel. You'll have to download this. So there's an option inside uh, that you could use to download, but you could carry out calculations by just one swipe and it's going to maintain a history as well. Really, really helpful. Okay, coming to the next one. Let's say that I have some text on an image which I just want to extract. Using the rectangle tool in my edge panel, I can extract text from pretty much any image as long as it's properly readable. And then I can copy it or share it wherever I want. And another really cool feature is, let's say that you have like an address or an email address or a phone number in front of you that you want to refer to again. You can simply tap pin to screen from your edge panel, select the area that you want to pin and then tap pin to screen. That part will get permanently pinned onto your home screen irrespective of which app you go to. So you could go into your phone dialer if there's a phone number that you want to refer to or you could go to your uh, messages if in case there's something else that you want to copy. So I think it's pretty useful and just a feature that a lot of people don't know. And once you're done, just tap on it and tap cross. Now the next tip is something people barely know. A lot of times you have to give your phone to someone else. Let's say that you are showing a picture and then you don't want them to be able to go to another app. Open your recent apps, tap the icon of that app and then tap on pin this app. Now this app gets pinned onto the display and they cannot go beyond this app. So they cannot browse through anything else on your phone no matter what they do. So they have to remain inside that app. The only way to unlock this pin item is to tap the recent apps and the back key together. But once it does that, you're going to have to still unlock your phone to be able to, uh, you know, open and go to other apps. To enable this setting, go into biometrics and security settings and then go all the way down to other security settings. And the last option is called pin windows. Make sure that's turned on and also make sure ask for pin before unpinning is enabled so that one has to enter the pin to be able to go back into the phone. The next feature we'll talk about is that there's an inbuilt GIF maker on the Galaxy S10. So let's say you're watching a YouTube video and you want to make a GIF out of a particular part, tap on animation from the edge panel, hit record and it can only record up to 15 seconds. That's a pretty big GIF to begin with, but let's not do that. And that's it, your GIF is ready. Now you can go into your gallery. So of course, after you save your GIF, you can go into the gallery and then hit that edit icon, the pencil icon. And now you could actually do a lot of stuff. For example, you could scrub through the entire GIF, remove frames that you don't want. So you can delete them. You can also add a frame in case you wanted to, but not sure why you would do that. Next is you could change the speed. So you could go all the way up if you want. 
You could also set the playback of the GIF in forward direction, in backward direction, so it can go, you know, backwards, or if you just want it to be a loop GIF. And the last thing is that you could also change the aspect ratio. So if you want like a one is to one uh, GIF, you could just move around that shot that you took and make sure it's perfect according to you. Now, this next setting is to do with home screen customization. If you long tap on an app, it gives you the option to select it and then you can select more icons on the home screen and perform bulk operations like you could uninstall them all together. So you could do that right from the home screen. And if you just want them removed, you could do that by tapping on remove from home. Or if you want to put them into one folder, you could just tap on create folder. You could long press them, move them around, take them to another home screen, or you could just bring them back. The same holds true for apps inside the app drawer. So you could long press on an app and then you can do similar operations inside. And lastly, the always on display. First of all, double tapping it gives you access to control the brightness manually. So if you did not know that, you can do that. And if you want automatic, just tap on that brightness icon again. Now these icons that you see are notifications. You can double tap on a particular notification to open that notification inside that app. So just in case if you did not know that, there's one for you. The next thing is you can double tap on the icon, the, uh, the watch, and you could also access your music controller, your events for the day, uh, any alarms that you might have placed, and the weather uh, if you've set that. So just something that, you know, if you did not know. Now these might not be enabled by default. So you go into settings, go into lock screen, scroll down to face widgets and make sure all of these are turned on. If you're gonna need, if, if you're gonna need them, that is. And if you want to prioritize them, you can reorder them as well. So that's it from me, guys. Hope you really enjoyed the video. Those were some tips and tricks for the Galaxy S10. Of course, a lot of them are also applicable to other Galaxy phones that come with the One UI, uh, but some of them might not be applicable. So thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.